Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Sharma and today we will be discussing the MSP and Indian Agriculture, what is the impact of this particular minimum support price that the government announces at the time of sowing every year. So understand this first of all, this concept is part and parcel of the agriculture pricing policy. Now why does the government need to intervene in agriculture pricing as it is or why it has to be the part and parcel of it? You see, in India, farmer is the only producer that is not able to set the price of his produce, rather the government sets the price of his produce, at what price this particular thing will be sold in the market. So that is to be discussed and set by the government and not the farmer or the producer himself. So agriculture for per se is uh, such a tradition that the producer does not get to fix the price of his produce. So this is the one particular part. Now first and foremost, why is it so? So here in the government is considering both the farmer and the consumer of food in India as vulnerable sections. So for addressing both of vulnerabilities equally and uh, in terms of equity, the government intends to intervene in the agriculture pricing policy. Now within this agriculture pricing policy, the Commission on Agriculture Cost and Prices was created in India in 1965 and then renamed in 1980s. So this particular body is there for the recommendation purposes and the final decision on this agriculture prices with respect to MSP is taken by the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. On this basic fact, UPSC has asked questions twice in prelims. Now as it is, you know, agriculture pricing is one of the favourite subjects in pre itself, not just in pre, in mains 2018 also they asked about what is MSP, how can it help the farmers to or how can it help the farmers to secure their incomes? This was the kind of questions they asked in means also. Now, with respect to MSP's calculation, there are many formulas that have been coming in the uh, newspaper as to how the CACP goes on to calculate it. So, there is a particular formula that is called A2 plus FL. That is, uh, A2 represents all the kinds of cash expenditure and paid out cost by the farmer in terms of inputs. Maybe they are fertilizers, seeds, you know any kind of agriculture equipment that is borrowed everything so that is a2 then fl is the imputed cost of family labor that instead of family labor if he had to hire the labor how much will the farmer have to pay so this is also added up so this a2 plus fl is the basic formula based on which the cacp is uh, calculating the input cost of the farmer now since budget 2018-19 there is a particular policy that is set by the government that the msp will be at least 1.5 times the A2 plus FL input cost. So this is how the MSP decision making is being done right now. And this is the minimal benchmark. It can go higher depending upon the other factors also. For example, the demand supply aspects within the market, how that MSP is going to affect the intercrop parity. So other factors can also be taken into consideration apart from this so that can go above this benchmark of 1.5 times the input cost that has been calculated. Now with respect to this in the newspapers this year that is also important for pre every year that is the MS Swaminathan commission that is farmer commission also. This commission recommended that the cost that uh, CACP should use or the formula that it should use should be C2 instead of A2 plus FL. Now the C2 formula along with A2 plus FL components adds two more components to the basic calculation methodology that is the interest on owned capital and the rent on owned land. So these two also have to be imputed within the cost itself and that will then become C2 or comprehensive cost. There is another formula that is C3 which is essentially C2 plus 10 percent of C2. So anyhow you should know only A2 plus FL add C2 formulas for your pre sakes that much will do. Maybe you will get even a match the following kind of a question with respect to this because it is yet to come. Rather than this from the mains point of view, the MSP essentially helps the farmer to decide which kind of crop he should cultivate, what kind of prices he can expect for it because they are like minimum guarantees with respect to the government which is the, which it is giving for a particular kind of a crop okay it is not the cost or it's not the price at which the government will finally procure because understand this msp is only the minimum support price then there is a procurement price and an issue price these prices are also given by the cacp itself in many of the uh, renowned websites you know the data has been quoted wrong with respect to msp definition msp definition is with respect to minimum guarantee of the government it is not the cost at which the government procures that in itself is called procurement cost which will be different 
most of the time you know if within your market the market prices are higher than msp then the government can add some bonus to msp and then msp plus that bonus will be equal to procurement price moreover in case of punjab haryana and western up which are the green revolution states the msp benefit is actually given out to the farmers but in rest of the states you know not much of the msp beneficiation happens therefore the states have their own kind of schemes to help the farmers deal with the income gap for example there is bhavantra yojana you know so in this bhavantra yojana the state government provides the income gap between the msp and the market price realized by the farmer while selling his grain in a particular apmc or anaj mandi now moving forward uh, because the msp was not uh, as much impactful throughout the indian agricultural landscape so therefore you know uh, fci is able to procure only from punjab haryana and western up and then its go downs are full so therefore the niti ayog suggested that india should go on for a particular uh, scheme called price efficiency payment system now under this at least 10% of the gap between the msp and what the farmer was able to realize as a market price if it is lower than msp should be paid out to the farmer as a dbt by the central government so this is on the scale of bhavantra yojana itself all right then beyond this to make msp rationalized even more uh, recent uh, recommendations with respect to msp are this that the msp should be treated as a floor price in apmcs within the recent aplmc act also this is the suggestion that is made that the msp should be acting as a floor price for uh, uh, setting any kind of bidding for the agricultural crop that comes into the agricultural market okay so these are the kind of recommendations that are coming in the core goal behind the whole thing is to ensure farmers income and right now the government agenda is to double farmers income by 2023 so for this agenda particularly to happen the government is taking many steps and msp and its reject is a part of this uh, particular sequence jaise aajkal chalta hai aap chronology samjhiye to ye usi chronology ka ek part hai so <laughs> i hope you understand uh, the msp conceptualization and how it is helping the farmers as it is it helps them in decision making it helps them in selling the uh, particular stock okay moreover one more uh, question that you can think about is who is uh, responsible for procurement of different kind of crops so even in haryana civil services 2019 paper that was held in pre so they asked this particular question that uh, you know with respect to agriculture crop the procurement is the responsibility of fci uh, especially with those crops which are listed in msp and uh, they, this is given for 23 crops you should know it as per the apmc act there are 26 crops but only for 23 crops this msp is given don't try to mug up all these 23 just read them once and read their categories that will do for you even in upsc when they asked a question regarding this msp in terms of crops they put in certain things like coffee turmeric you know or the acria nut now these kind of things need not be insured in the uh, pds mechanism or the issue mechanism because that is the core purpose in which the food management is done by the government also no so they have to procure only those things which they want to make sure that they should provide to the people also so that is how the whole thing works from one end they will be procuring it and the other end they will be selling it through the fair price shops of the government in the pda system so government need not provide you know coffee turmeric and supari that is acria nut to the people that is not essential so agar aap wo logic ke hisab se bhi dekhenge to bade aasani se aap ye question hal kar payenge pre ke andar ek baar bas usko risk ko padhna hai aur samajhna hai ki kis tarah ke crops ke upar msp ki baat ki ja rahi hai all right then MSP के बारे में इससे ज्यादा अगर आप जानना चाहते हैं तो यू कैन जस्ट राइट इन टू मी इन माय ईमेल आईडी डी इज अभिषेक एट द रेट अभिमन्यू डॉट कॉम सो ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर यूपीएससी एंड अदर एग्जामिनेशन थैंक यू सो मच